Jay Gurudev, let's continue exploring the wealth of published research on sadhana. Are there studies that look into the effects of meditation on creativity? Yes, there are several studies that highlight the positive impact of meditation on creativity. For example, a study published in Consciousness and Cognition found that participants who practiced mindfulness meditation showed a greater creative problem-solving abilities compared to those who did not meditate. This suggests that sadhana can enhance divergent thinking, which is crucial for creative expression. That's intriguing. How does this relate to the teachings of sadhana, particularly in fostering creativity? Gurudev emphasizes the importance of inner stillness and clarity, which are essential for creative expression. By calming the mind through sadhana, individuals can tap into deeper levels of insight and intuition. The significant findings support this notion, showing that meditation can create a mental space conducive to creativity and innovative thinking. Are there any studies that focus on the role of mindfulness in enhancing decision-making skills? Yes, research published in Journal of Experimental Psychology indicates then mindfulness can improve decision making by promoting more reflective and less impulsive responses. Practitioners of mindfulness are better at weighing options and considering long term consequences, which aligns with the principles of sadhana that encourage thoughtful reflection and awareness. That's a powerful connection. What about the psychological aspects of meditation? Are there studies that explore its effects on the cardiovascular system? Absolutely, a meta-analysis in circulation, cardiovascular quality and outcomes found that mindfulness meditation can lead to reductions in blood pressure and improvements in heart health. These findings highlight how regular sadhana practices not only promote mental well-being but also enhance physical health, creating a holistic approach to wellness. How do these findings uh, about uh, cardiovascular health tie into the overall philosophy of sadhana? The philosophy of sadhana emphasizes the interconnectedness of mind and body. Gurudev teaches that nurturing our mental well-being through practices like meditation can have profound effects on our physical health. The scientific, the scientific evidence supports this holistic view, reinforcing the idea that taking care of our mental state is essential for maintaining overall health. Are there studies focusing on the effects of meditation on immune function? Yes, research in psychosomatic medicine has found that mindfulness meditation can enhance immune response. The study found that participants who practice meditation had higher levels of antibodies in response to vaccination, indicating a more robust immune system. This aligns with the principles of sadhana that advocate for holistic well-being. That's a fascinating insight. How can practitioners use this knowledge to enhance their sadhana practices? Practitioners can focus on incorporating mindfulness techniques that have been shown to benefit physical health such as breath awareness and body scans. These principles and practices not only enhance mental clarity but also promote relaxation and overall health. Keeping a consistent practice can amplify these benefits, reinforcing the mind-body connection emphasized in sadhana. As we wrap up, what is your key message regarding the integration of scientific research and sadhana practices? The integration of scientific research with sadhana practices creates a comprehensive understanding of well-being. It highlights that our spiritual and physical health are interconnected and embracing this relationship can lead to profound personal growth. As Gurudev teaches, each moment of sadhana contributes to our evolution, reinforcing the importance of both spiritual practices and scientific insights into our lives. Thank you for this insightful conversation. Your ability to connect empirical research with the spiritual teachings of sadhana offers a valuable perspective for many. Thank you for having me. I hope our discussion inspires individuals to explore the transmitted power of sadhana and the wealth of knowledge that scientific research provides, guiding them on their journey toward holistic well-being. Let's dive even deeper into the research. Are there studies that examine how meditation influences brain function during emotional responses. Yes, there are fascinating findings in this area. Research published in Social Cognitive and Effective Neuroscience demonstrates that mindfulness meditation alters the way the brain responds to emotional stimuli. Participants who practice mindfulness showed reduced activation in the amygdala, the brain region associated with stress and fear responses indicating that regular meditation can help individuals manage their emotional reactions more effectively. That's significant. How does this align with the teachings of sadhana regarding emotional mastery? Gurudev teaches that uh, through consistent practice, individuals can cultivate emotional stability and resilience. The scientific evidence supports this showing that meditation can help 
rewire the brain's response to emotions, leading to a calmer, more composed state of being. This transformation is at the heart of sadhana, which encourages practitioners to rise above reactive patterns and cultivate inner peace. Are there specific meditation techniques that have been shown to be particularly effective for emotional regulation? Yes, techniques such as uh, loving-kindness meditation and mindfulness-based stress reductions have been well studied. A meta-analysis in health psychology found that meditation significantly increases positive emotions and reduces negative emotions, enhancing overall emotional well-being. These techniques embody the essence of sadhana by promoting compassion and mindfulness. <laughs> That's a wonderful insight. What about the impact of meditation on anxiety and depression? Are there relevant studies? Definitely, a comprehensive review published in Clinical Psychology Review highlighted that mindfulness meditation is effective in reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression. The findings suggest that regular practice can lead to significant improvements in mood and emotional health, reinforcing the therapeutic benefits of sadhana for those struggling with mental health issues. How can individuals apply these findings to support their mental health through sadhana? Individuals can incorporate mindfulness meditation into their daily routines even if for just a few minutes. Practices like guided meditations or body scans can help alleviate anxiety and depressive symptoms. Journaling about their experiences during sadhana can also promote self-reflection and enhance emotional awareness leading to deeper insights. Are there any insights and studies that explore how sadhana can foster a sense of purpose and meaning in life? Yes, research published in Journal of Happiness Studies found that mindfulness practices are linked to a greater sense of purpose and life satisfaction. Participants reported feeling more connected to their values and aspirations as a result of their meditation practice. This aligns closely with the teachings of sadhana, which emphasize self-discovery and living with intention. That's inspiring. How does a sense of purpose developed through sadhana manifest in daily life? When individuals engage in sadhana, they cultivate clarity about their values and goals. This heightened awareness fosters a sense of purpose, guiding their actions and decisions. The alignment of one's uh, daily life with deeper values leads to increased fulfillment and a more meaningful existence, which is a core aspect of spiritual growth. As we conclude, what overarching message do you want to convey regarding the synthesis of scientific research and sadhana practices? The, synthetic, uh, the synthesis of scientific research with sadhana practices offers a profound understanding of the transformative power of these teachings. It illustrates that spiritual practices are grounded in psychological and physiological benefits, creating a holistic approach to personal growth. Embracing this integration empowers individuals to navigate their journeys with awareness, purpose, and resilience. Thank you for sharing these valuable insights. Your ability to connect scientific research with the principles of sadhana provides a comprehensive perspective for many seeking to enhance their well-being. Thank you for the opportunity. I hope our discussion encourages individuals to embrace their sadhana practice with an open heart and mind, leveraging both spiritual insights and scientific findings for a richer, more fulfilling life. Jai Gurudev.